Here we go live from the front porch of the off-grid log cabin. We left the city life 15 years ago, you guys, just for this exact reason, okay? Self-preservation. Today's video is explosive. Today's October 4th. They're going to release a nationwide coast-to-coast -coast emergency alert. FEMA, three-letter agency, is going to release this signal at 2.20 Eastern Standard Time, ping in your phones, ping in your smart TVs. I'm turning off my phones. I'm going to show you how to disable receiving that message on your phone. And whatever you do with this video is up to you. But let's get right into it. Now, we've talked a lot about the Rockefellers. They're no friends of humanity, okay? And I have found something right here that's going to shed a little light on what's going on. Okay. Now, a lot of people are talking about today because, um, you know, they're going to do this signal. It's a sound frequency. We've been talking about frequencies. We've been talking about how important they are. We've been talking about how they're going to use them against us. We've been talking about um, the nanoparticles in the vaccine. This is a fact. They are in there. That's why you guys were seeing the people with the magnets sticking on their arms. That was totally legit, not faked, totally legit. The nanoparticles go inside where the injection site is, and it stays there for a few hours, and then they start to move throughout your body. Now, I know this sounds crazy. You're like, nanoparticles, injections. Y'all are some crazy conspiracy theories, people. This is the actual patent from the Rockefeller Institute. And I'm going to read it, the abstract to you right now. So don't go anywhere. And then we're going to talk about the signal today. And then I'm going to show you how to disable your phone. And then I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. United States patent, patent number, U.S. 10 comma 786 comma 57 ob2 i will be sending this out on the email list if you guys are not on our email list please get on our email list go to offgridwithdougandstacy.com fill out the box right there on the first page and we send out emails with all this information i don't put them under the videos because youtube will sniff them out and they will block and shadow ban my channel worse than they already are right now this is a uh I mean, you can't make this stuff up, y'all. And this is all public record. Seek and you shall find. That's why the Bible says that. You cannot just sit around and just not do anything. At least get some information for yourself so you can confirm or deny what you think might be going on. And this is just one piece of information. The Rockefeller University in New York, on September 29th, 2020, Filed for a patent. Uh, it's called the Frereton Nanoparticle Compositions and Methods to Modulate Cell Activity. Okay, it's all right here. And I'm going to have it tonight and it's in the picture. And you guys can freeze it right there and you can look it up for yourself. Freeze and read it. <laughs> and then go look up the patent for yourself. All right. But the abstract clearly says. This present invention provides methods and compositions for the remote control of cell functions based on the use of radio frequency waves to excite nanoparticles targeted to specific tel cell types. Targeted to specific cell types. The nanoparticles may be applied to the target cell extracellularly or expressed intracellularly. Holy guacamole. And then everyone's running around today talking about this radio frequency sound that's going to go out on everybody's cell phone and across your smart TVs at 2.20 Eastern Standard Time in America. Okay? A lot of people are going to be turning off their phones. They're going to be turning off their TVs. I would even suggest unplugging them <laughs> if you take this stuff seriously. Okay? So I showed you the patent. I want to skip over real quick and I want to show you this video clip, okay? This is the government and they're, they're talking about making a vaccine that could affect your brain, okay? Just listen very closely to what they say and they can actually take your religious beliefs away from your body via vaccine. Check this out. Here we have individuals who are religious fun fundamentalists, religious fanatics. And this is the expression, uh, RT-PCR, real-time PCR uh, expression of the VMAT2 gene. Over here, we have individuals. So, so, so let, let me complete. So over here, 
we have uh, individuals who are not particularly uh, fundamentalists, not particularly religious, and you can see there's a, a much reduced uh, expression of, of this particular gene, the, the BMAT2 uh, gene. Uh, another evidence that, that supports our, our hypothesis for the development of, of, of this um, approach. Uh, so what, you, what you see here is by, by, by spreading this virus, we're going to eliminate individuals from donning on a bomb vest and going into a market and blowing up the market. So our, our hypothesis is that these are fanatical people, uh, that they have overexpression of the BMAT2 gene and that by vaccinating them against this, we'll eliminate this behavior. So I read you the patent, right? Straight up, they have a patent. The Rockefellers, of all people, have a patent to use radio frequencies to interact with vaccines inside your body. And I just showed you the patent and I'm gonna send it out on the email list tonight or tomorrow night. So I give everybody a chance to get into the video here and maybe they've never heard this information before. Maybe they never signed up for our email before. So that'll give them some time to do that. And then we're gonna send this out. I also have another thing to share with you guys. Hold on, let me show you here. Now this right here is from the CDC website. Okay, COVID-19 RNA based vaccines and the risk of prion disease. Have you guys ever heard of the prion disease? CDC website. Just so you know, I'm not jiving you. You can go check it out for yourself. And they did actually remove the second part of this, which you're gonna find interesting. Development of the new vaccine technology has been plagued with problems in the past. The current RNA-based SARS-CoV-2 vaccine were approved by the US using an emergency order without exist extensive long-term safety testing. In this paper, the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine was evaluated for the potential to induce the prion, P-R-I-O-N, based disease in vaccine recipients. The RNA sequence of the vaccine, as well as the spike protein targeted interaction, were analyzed for the potential to convert intercellular RNA binding proteins, TIR DNA, -R DNA binding proteins, IDP43, and fused in Sacroma, and there, you know, it's a lot of uh, jargon here. Furthermore, the spike protein created by the translation of the vaccine to the increased intercellular zinc, zinc ions, have been shown to cause the transformation of TP43 to its pathological uh, prion configuration. So anyways, they go on and on about this uh, prion, that it can induce this prion disease. And then um, on the same website for the CDC, they have since taken this down, I was explaining to you. But here it says here, they get the zombie apocalypse kit. Okay? Because that's the kind of stuff it causes. It causes you to like lose your memory, to not know where you're at. Um, there's a lot of other things that are associated with it, but I just wanted, I thought that would be interesting for you guys to see uh, the zombie appar preparedness kit from the CDC. And now we're rolling into this thing where they're sending out frequencies and it might affect people that have had the vaccine. So that's all I got for you guys today. I'm shutting off all my stuff today. The internet's going down. If you guys ordered anything from the Missouri Tea Company, uh, don't look for any emails today. You look for everything tomorrow. I'm so behind on that. Please bear with me and I will get it to you. Um, if you're new around here, my wife and I, we live in this log cabin. We moved up here 15 years ago from the city. We grow 90% of our own food. We have checked out of the system. We only participate when we want to. And we just try to help people live a self-sufficient life uh, free from... <laughs> Oh my gosh, dare I say it, free from this crazy, free from this crazy, until they're at my gate. But I'm trying to help people as much as I can by digging into information, finding things maybe that other people aren't finding. There is a actual patent filed by the Rockefeller Institution, all right? We'll see you guys on the next video. If you want more of this information, hit offgridwithdougandstacy.com, fill out the box on the homepage there, and we send out emails with all the links and the pictures and everything so you guys can do your own homework and share it with your friends, okay? It's kind of a, maybe kind of a rainy day today, I don't think so. Uh, so I'm gonna get a lot of stuff done around the farm. Our apple trees are dripping. Apple trees are dripping, so I brought you in for a closer view. But look, the bottom line is here, okay? This is it. All the conspiracy theory stuff and everything is coming true right before your very eyes, y'all. Stay vigilant out there. This is going to be a bumpy couple of years, I'm telling you. We've been trying to warn you guys. We'll see you on the next video.
on your Android phone, go to settings and then scroll down for notifications and then go to advanced settings and then scroll down to wireless emergency down here at the bottom wireless emergency alerts and then you push the not allow alerts and then make sure and notice that all these are checked off because you have amber alerts and all these other alerts that you can have on without knowing it so I turned off all alerts no vibrations no reminders no nothing everything is off 